All right, what I've got here is a Kloss uh, Beller cylinder. We're going to be doing a reseal on this. If you like this sort of stuff, if you would, consider going down there, clicking the subscribe, turning the bell on for notifications, and giving this video a thumbs up if you like it. All right, first off, this gland has a uh, retainer ring in it. It's got a slot right here. Basically, we'll turn the gland uh, and roll that retainer ring out. All right, so like I said, first thing we're going to do is get a big adjustable here and just rotate. All right, once I see the end of the wire, I'll take a straight pick, hold under it. That wire is starting to roll out if you can see it. I can actually turn it by hand and it's still rolling out. So continue to roll that. Until it comes up to the top there and you can just pull that retainer ring out. That has a hook on it that locates down in a hole that's in that gland. Next I'm going to take and blow this out. I'll also take some uh, freeze off and which not sponsored by the way just use it every day I'm gonna spray some of that in there that's gonna help clean anything else up that was in there and assist in taking it out if it's difficult but blow that out again then it's just a matter of pulling the rod out. Okay, this is kind of tight, so this has probably got a... Well, no, there we go. So go ahead and pull the rod out. Okay, we're at the end of the stroke there. And there we go. Take the tube out and we'll sit it to the side. Now, this has actually got spanner holes here in the end of this piston. So I'm going to find a spanner wrench that fits. Okay, I got a spanner wrench on it that fits here. And it's just a matter of trying to break her loose. Ugh. Okay, that is going to be tight. And get a hammer. All right, I'm gonna hold tension upwards with my hand. Take a hammer and mm, try and break it loose. Oh boy! All right, I'll be back. I need to find something better for that. All right, so I've got a uh, a chain vice grip. Now I'm going to go on the center of the piston. And get it tightened. And I'm going to take and squeeze that and try to break it loose this way. Alright, I finally got this thing loose enough uh, to turn. But I had, I had to use these here and uh, I'll have to clean this center of the piston up a little bit but sometimes that's part of it they probably got a bunch of thread locker in here and when you add thread locker and little pin holes uh, these little face pins these are it's about a joke like you can see I'm still wanting to my tools still coming out of that but at any rate it's turning and we just continue to turn it out okay this is finally where I can spin this out by hand and that's the problem you can see here all this gunk right there all that gunk right there is thread locker old thread locker and that stuff works so just be mindful of that.
The piston is scored, scored up a little bit, but I'll clean that back up uh, and come back and at the end and show you guys what that looks like. Take our piston off. Now we take our gland off. And that's it. Go ahead and take off our seals. The gland here has got an O-ring on the exterior of the gland inside is the failure you can see that green up in that wiper that's part of that u-cup down in there um, right in there we'll go ahead and pull the u-cup And you can see that U cup uh, is gone. Okay, now we'll go ahead and remove the wiper. And that's it for the head or the gland. And we'll remove the U cups on the piston. This has two piston cups, or yes, this is a piston profile, but they're U cups. The bevel is facing either way because this is a double acting cylinder. And that's it on that. Like I said, we'll get this cleaned up and it'll look a lot better. Seals are out. Well, I'll get the uh, head and the piston and the retainer ring cleaned up and uh, get these threads cleaned up a little bit on the rod here get the new seals and uh, as you can see here these Beller cylinders too I want to point out get a lot of rust and stuff up around that wiper uh, you just wire will it out the best you can with a die grinder oh and I didn't notice it kind of blended in don't forget the backup and that's it all right we'll get the new seals hunted up get the get the gland and the piston cleaned up and be back we got our uh, piston cleaned up better there's some markings on there but uh overall it's uh cleaned up and we got our gland clean up the best we can. Um, so it's time to start putting her back together. Let's we'll start with the gland first. Take and put the backer on the outside of the gland. And then just make sure that that backup is seated on the bottom. And that backup is seated with the concave facing this direction because it's going to back up this O ring that goes on next. Now, that contour that backer's facing that O ring. So, those are on. Next, we'll take our U cup, which is a uh, this is a metric cylinder. This is a 25 millimeter ID U cup. Get one side started there. Just like that. And then we will push and walk in. Hmm. Okay. Got, got that in. Our new U cup is in. Then we'll take the wiper, start one side of it in, and push it in. That's it for the gland. Now the U cup's on the piston. This has the, uh, the U cup's beveled on one end where the pressure hits. This is a double acting cylinder, so. 
one will face this way the other the bevel will face this way so the bevels will be facing towards the ends of the piston uh, so they can do their job respectively so we'll take start that in there and basically just push that on like that and same with the other side start it start it and push it on and that's the piston that's it now it's just a matter of greasing everything up and putting it back together so we'll go ahead and put a little bit of grease in here we'll slide our gland on and that one was able to push on all the way by hand we'll go back with a little bit of 121 thread locker you don't have to put a whole lot of this stuff on and then uh, spanner holes go out towards the end so put the piston back on Thread it as far as you can by hand, and then it's a matter of taking your spanner and just continuing the process of tightening this thing up. <clears throat> All right, we get that that far, and I'll take and give it a couple hits with the hammer. Try to lock it as tight as possible. But that thread locker will that thread locker will do its job too though. Okay, after that we'll take take the rod out. Go ahead and put our tube back in. And all that stuff feels good in there, so really don't have to clean it. Go ahead and get some grease. We'll put on our piston seals and our o-ring here. And then Go ahead and put some on here in the tube. Now this we gotta be careful. We're gonna put our piston back in. This should be oversized enough to where it won't catch that lip of that piston seal. And we'll take, just hold tension, pushing, walking, pushing, and there we go, that's in. All right, we'll take and turn our gland uh, to where the retainer hole is facing up into that slot, and then we'll take, push it up. Might be a little tight, so I'm gonna get a aluminum punch here. Hit that in, and then it's a matter of taking our ring and just turning it back basically you want to get that hook right there started down in that hole get it rotating till it goes under the wall of the cylinder and once it starts turning get your wrench back out and just rotate it in like such rotate it around completely that port went back on top right there. And we can go ahead and push our rod back in. After pushing that rod in, that's it. That's how you reseal a Kloss. Uh, I'm pretty sure they said this is a Beller cylinder. So if you enjoyed that, if you would, consider going down there, click on the subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, and giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All right, until next time, thanks for watching.